So we've just made it to our um, camp, our wall camp, and over the last sort of five minutes we've heard a stag whine. We've probably heard them maybe a dozen times. Not nuts, but good moans. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, we're just contemplating. We're just sitting here assessing the wind, really. Our camp we're going to move to is straight up behind us, and the wind's going that way. He's basically out here. So we think we might... Um, We've still got one can of beer stashed and some sauce from last year, and under that there is our tent. So we're going to get that. We're going to head up to our camp up here, set up on the ridge, and then we'll try and make a plan to have a go at this guy. So, good promising sign. It's uh, pretty much half past 12 or something, I think. So, wind's swirling a bit, but yeah, we'll just keep you posted, eh? Alright, so just a quick update. After we left that little camp and packed the tent and things, we came up to that ridge, that stag kept roaring. We got onto this little knob here. We gave a few roars ourselves, he started arcing up. We decided to shoot straight back down below us. But we've pretty much spent the last two hours coming through the most crap bush you can think of. And we're not sure if the stag that we were after was above us, because we heard something out to the left too. So we made our way back round to the saddle, which is straight below us. And we're just cruising back along there. And you could hear a stag coming. All set up, ready to go, cameras rolling. And then the old wind, straight in our necks. Probably about three or four seconds later, gone. So, very disappointing. Good two hours of careful stalking, thinking we're getting close. Come back under the saddle, not far from our packs. And one come right in and the wind buggered us. So we're a bit dejected. But we're going to shoot down to camp now and uh, set things up and go out for an evening uh, evening look anyway. There's still a few stags moaning about, which is a good sign anyway, so we'll get into it. Made it. Alright, made it to our new campsite. Um, we'll get it set up and hopefully a little shower of rain coming through will beat that. And Go have a crack at that stag, eh? I think so. He's still I, roaring, so. I just put the camera when I was just talking before about what had happened the last two hours. We were sitting there within two or three minutes contemplating what to do tonight. The stag over there started up really well, so we get this camp up, eh? <laughs> So we've uh, set up camp now, we uh, were a bit lucky that shower bypassed us, um, but it's pretty bloody cold. Yeah, just had a good feed, a few bacon buns and head mm. back out now. So we're going to go back on that little knob, we haven't really heard any roaring, to be fair we're making a bit of noise cooking and stuff, so we're going to shoot back up there, hopefully that one that sounded pretty good starts up, but we'll just see what we can hear for the evening and um, <clears throat> it's only just close to 4 o'clock eh, so we've got plenty of time, get up there and who knows, we might be able to... Uh, have a crack at something tonight, if not something in the morning, so we better go have a look. Fine, dear. Sit there for a bit of nothing, decided to pop down this other side. As soon as we come over, you can hear two stags warning each other. One's quite close, it's just in the saddle below, so we're just trying to cut around, keep the wind in our favour, and at the stage, we're just trying to sneak in. He's warning well on his own, so fingers crossed, eh? It's nice to hear, eh? So, like that, we're back into camp. Um, bugger, we've had an interesting night, eh, Tim? Yeah, well, a couple of stags going for it, on the other side of that knob. Here to say the wind stuffed us on both of them. Frustrating, eh? We went over that knob. Oh, we were bloody close, <laughs> bloody close to the first one. We tried to cut around and he shut up, back and he centred us. 
had moved off, but the other one on the other side of the creek kept roaring. So we thought, we'll go and have a go. <laughs> Couldn't help ourselves. Once we crossed the creek, the wind turned and came straight up our arse. And he's actually started roaring again now that we've just got back into camp. So hopefully he's not too spooked, but he definitely went quiet and moved yeah. off from where he was. <coughs> oh, well, it's good to be back into camp. Quick bite to eat, maybe. A few cold beers, eh? And we'll yeah. Hopefully just they start up. Okay, so we uh, we left the tent maybe a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes ago, we went up to the knob. That one we've heard right all night, it's moaning a bit, but no, nothing to get interested in. Eh? Nah. So, nah, so. We're going to head down the ridge now, there's two, well one definitely quite close, and the other one which may be on the other side of the creek, but we're going to head down there, just gun it, and um, hopefully See if we can get onto them. Yeah. As long as it's wind plays again. Mm. Mm. Have to wait and see, it's all over the show at this stage. It's a good cold morning and they, uh, they're roaring well at each other, so we'll go give it a go. After crossing the creek at the bottom of the hill and getting onto a good leading ridge, the stag had been roaring well. It took us about an hour and a half to close the gap to where he was. And it wasn't until he came in last minute, really close on this, we got a really good look at him. I was literally about a metre to two metres max from him. I could see his head quite clearly, and it wasn't the sort of stag I was after, so I opted to let him go at the time. He just pushed on a little bit down the hill and kept moaning a bit. So Tim and I, after discussing it, we had these good aim point scopes that we'd been sent out to test. He decided that he'd be happy to shoot it, so that's exactly what we did. I roared him up again, got him fairly rocked up. Tim snuck forward and sealed the kill. Down there, Tim, eh? Yeah. He's only small, but. <laughs> um, do you hear another deer just crash off me? Yep. Take it off the other way. Let's go check him out, Tim. He was here somewhere, wasn't he, when you shot him? end up being Tim it didn't look very no it wasn't very big it wasn't huge when I seen it about a meter away we knew it was quite a young stag so we just wanted to take things back down yeah no it's all good it's dead, it? he is it's not very big oh, Christ, he's quite a small animal right here he is drag him out yeah 
a big four pointer. Look at the state of that brow time. Oh, oh he's, no, he's a little bit more. He got a little point. Oh, he's a bit ugly, isn't he? <laughs> Gives a look, eh? Yeah, fair to say, he's probably good to get out of the gene pool anyway. Look at these things. Well, and that's something. Oh, well, we'll set him up and have a bit of look, eh? Tim's just found the bullet. I've got the bullet, so I hit him just behind the shoulder on that side. I believe this will be the bullet just under his skin. How's yeah. that? Bullet. He has a 150 grain Hornady. Yep. And 7 mil 08, that's held together. I don't know where all the lead's gone. I'd say there's, I found a bit more under the skin, but... Uh, you think wasn't going to go far. Oh, here it is. Got it. There's a bit more. You're very good. It's think you've done its job. It did. It's held together pretty well. There's a little bit more just there. It's alright, so... Stag down. It's, um, Pretty ugly little head, quite funny, it's got some little bumps and nooks on him, but it was a good hunt, eh? we've been chasing him for oh, an hour, hour and a half this morning, for once the wind stayed in our favour, <laughs> yeah. we had to muck around a little bit, go down and come back up a different ridge, and we got close, and then we could smell him, and as you'll see on the footage, he come in really close. Probably the closest I've ever a stag, I reckon I could almost poke with the barrel on my gun when he first turned up, I could see him pretty clearly. Um, we had just had the most perfect wind, so he stood there for probably 30 seconds or so, maybe a bit more. Yeah. Um, I had the gun camera on, I was pointing at him, you'll probably see it in the footage because Tim had his camera on as well. But uh, I knew straight away he wasn't big, not really what I was wanting to shoot, I've been trying to hold out the last week or two to try and get something nice. So he crashed off like you see in the footage, and we had a quick yarn, eh? I said he wasn't big, and then yeah. we decided that we've been given this uh, rifle from Beretta, the aim point sights on it, so we thought... Great chance to try it out. Yeah. He was only 20, 30 metres away, he carried on roaring, so... Yeah. Popped over the brow and he just stood right there. I poked a hole in him. Too easy. Yeah. Quite impressed, there's 7 mil 08. First time I've actually used one and... Shit, he didn't make it far, the bullet went in just behind the shoulder on this side and we got it out under the skin on the shoulder on here. Yeah, it's dead as soon as we got here. So. Yeah. All in all, yeah, it was good. He came in nice and close, got that good footage, took off, just wouldn't shut up. So we, that's where we thought, bugger it, we'll give this a crack and uh, nah, it come up trumps. So. I found those sights really good, like, um, it's saying different to a scope, but in that close range stuff, like I could, both eyes open, you could see the animal, yeah. I could see everything around him, put the red dot on him where I wanted to hit, and bang. Trophy quite my stag, eh? Yeah, look at these bloody things. I don't know what is going on here, but those brow tines are ugly. Oh yeah, we better doctor them up, eh? As you can see, we're right in the thick stuff. It's just awful, the super jack. How are you back there, Tim? Oh, mate. <laughs> We've just crawled out of the gnarliest little gut. Why do we hunt in here? <laughs> Through the stags live, isn't it, and the buggers? Yeah. We're nearly onto a good little leading ridge, though, so we're getting there. All right, right in the shit here. We're getting down, though. Oh. <laughs> bloody steep. There's lots of vines but sometimes the vines are your friend actually. It sounds like we're in the river. Alright down there. <laughs> we made it but that's the main thing. Oh that's a good sight. That's a good sight. Oh man, I'm just sitting 
Ja. Rightio, venison's hanging. We'll pick this up tomorrow, Tom, eh? Yeah, it's good to get it to here anyway. Just down by the river, so head back up to camp now. It's one o'clock already, so we've got a decent, decent little climb back up to camp, but we're looking forward to it. We're both pretty hungry now, so. It takes about half an hour from here, so. Yeah, get back, have something to eat, and then hopefully that one near camp starts up again. We'll be straight back into it, so we're ready to get on that ridge. And we're back to camp. Pretty buggered to be honest. Ooh, good old slog. Looking forward to some food. Yeah. Look out because we're about to rip into it. Oh man. So after good feed and probably an hour shut eye. A little bit of a nap, eh? It's yeah. Still coming too. Um, poke your heads out. It certainly got up pretty windy. Forecast isn't looking too good. Um, so we're just trying to debate where we should head. Trying to work out which way this wind's coming. Being on the saddle, it's sort of just swirling everywhere. Um, it'd be quite easy to stay in here and have one of those cold winings, wouldn't it, Tom? Oh, it would, but I think we've got to get out and earn it a bit more, don't we? I think so. So we're going to put our boots on shortly and head up to the knob anyway. and see what we can hear. If, it's, uh, if we can get off to the side of it one way and it's not so windy we might get lucky but yeah, just have to play it by ear so mm. I suppose we better get into it. Tess, to go have a look, hey? What do you reckon Tess? You want to stay there. Back again. It's uh, pretty bloody windy. It's like the rain's starting to come in. We've had a few drizzles, so we've pulled pin, headed back, and uh, yeah, basically a case of battening down the hatches for the night. I think we've been for a bit of a wild one. And it's not looking good. Okay, so we're uh, in the tent now. She's pretty dark. We've had the odd little drizzle of rain hitting. Um, we were sitting out there under under the uh, tree canopy, but due to that, we've been forced in the tent to uh, enjoy a few cold wine for the night. The wind's kind of died down a little bit now. Still yeah. blowing, but it was real strong this afternoon. Hellishly cold, anyway. It's pretty fresh in here, um, but it's been a big day. All in all, it's pretty cool to have that stag coming so close. So, a bit of reward, eh, for. Yeah, some hard yakka. Certainly oh, didn't yeah. come easy. No. But anyway, oh, we'll enjoy our beers and I suppose we'll just uh, see what happens in the morning. We're going to head out tomorrow, so it'd be nice to get one more little look though. We'll play yeah. it by year. Morning time. We've had a pretty rough night. It's um, it's blown hell of a gale all night. We've had to be out two or three times putting rocks on tarpaulins and retying strings. So, a bit disappointing. It's still howling this morning. No way we're gonna be able to hear any stags roar. But we're gonna get up now, cook some breakfast, and uh, pack everything up. Head on our way out. Who knows? We might get down into the gut a bit more, and the wind might have died off. But Flat by air. We didn't get any rain though, which is a bit of a bonus, I suppose, so at least we're dry. But it is howling cold. Oh, yo, breakfast time. So we're heading out now. Everything's packed up. 
bits and the last bits and pieces. We've got a couple of bags of rubbish to put in our bags. Um, yeah, still fairly windy, but we're well fed. Picked up our camp and we're a bit lighter for now anyway, unless until we get down to that river where the that stag's hanging that we shot yesterday. So about 40 minutes downhill, get down there, have a quick raro juice or something and load that meat and be on out of here. So better get a move on. Cool. Made it down to the river, the meat's hanging here. Oh, nice, nice and cool. I'm gonna bone it out now and put it in a couple of bags and head on out. <laughs> 